What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, it doesn't even know what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. So, Caleb, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have yeah. a side piece? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you <laughs> No, and I I I it sounds bad. Mhm. You know. It sounds like a I mean like name. It's a mean name and it's why are you giving like a cute nickname? You're going to get caught. Yeah. Like who are you telling? I was just talking to my side piece. Oh, I'm going to get to tell your wife immediately. <laughs> right. That uh you just inform me she has a you have a side piece. I want to clarify by the way, Caleb, you can tell me if you have a side piece because we're not recording right now. We are not uh, recording. We are. No. I, this is your new prank Kyle, show. You're just hanging out the... with Kyle. Okay? <laughs> and he's not recording it. <laughs> this is my new prank show. It's called We're Not Recording. <laughs> so do you have any racism you want to say we're not oh recording. well i have three or four three or four racisms yeah let's yeah, hear them I can't help it. list all right number one uh-huh white uh-huh okay, I, don't, I don't even i, I don't even <laughs> yeah 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 even joe no, no sentence that starts with whites is gonna end <laughs> yeah, good totally uh <laughs> yeah yeah i feel like it's got to be the probably the most stressed out human being in the world is someone who has a you ever hear about these people they have they have a side piece for like 15 years uh-huh. and they're like, that's got to be the most stressful thing on earth. Cause you got your wife <laughs> who's like, where are you going all the time? You have to think of the stories. And then you have the side piece who's like, when am I going to be the wife? <laughs> right. That just sounds horrible. Well, also on top of that, like it's hard for me to even say side. Like the reason I think it's fun to say side piece is I think because yes. it's clear that, were you or I to have a mistress, I don't think we would oh, be like even worse. We would be like, oh, my side piece is really riding my ass. I uh, <laughs> unless, of course, that's yeah, the kind of sex tell, you like. When you want to complain about your side piece, who do you tell? You know, right? You just go to one. Well, of those Well, you tell Catholic your bottom priests. bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know when Pimp Dave, once Dave moved to New Jersey, <laughs> Pimp Dave came out. You can't stop Pimp Dave. Oh, man. My side piece, my wife, and my bottom bitch do not get along. <laughs> so a side piece, a wife, and a bottom bitch walk into walk a bar. In. <laughs> uh, and uh, bartender says, why the long face? Yeah. The guy's like, well, I'm in three conflicting relationships. You know, oh, I was getting stressed just thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, it sounds horrible. No, I because like, a uh, mistress is like a bad and it's but at least it's a regular adult word. A side piece is like. So she's a piece and it's not your wife is right. then your front piece. <laughs> yeah, your main your front. Yeah. Piece. <laughs> it's like a fanny. Yeah, pack. well, I got my well, front I'll piece. Do you take hey, shut this up. Your woman? Your side piece is calling you. Like, shut up! I'm with my front piece. <laughs> we uh, we've talked about scheduling this out. <laughs> CD Motel. Yes. Cash. You know that you're allowed to call me uh, when we have paid hourly to hang out. And uh, <laughs> did you have to? Did people have to zoom with their side piece during the pandemic? <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> uh, I wonder if the executives at Zoom are like, uh, so it turns out uh, everyone alive is cheating. Uh, we just found out on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> totally. It's not good. Uh, it sounds horrible. See, what I think is the worst about, like, what the thing you think, I, I remember I used to have a joke about this, but like 70% of men cheat, and, and those are just the ones that admit to it on the survey. Uh, so it's got to be higher than that, I would say, uh, just as... For, guessing <laughs> right but i think the most common one is like it's a guy he goes to vegas with his buddies and he has sex with a prostitute or something or he goes out for one night stand at a bar or out of town business trip or something like that that's what i assume a lot of it is yeah with dudes right uh but the saddest thing is the guy who's like in love with two women but he doesn't 
He's like a clo- he's like in denial about being polyamorous, but he loves two ladies. <laughs> they both love him, right? And they that just sounds like the hell on earth. To me. <laughs> I I can't think of a worse fate than to love two women. <laughs> well, not to get on like <laughs> a, a horrible thing. a high horse or a you know a, whatever a soapbox or whatever, but isn't that like I don't know? It's like corny to even say out loud because it's so obvious. But isn't that like? the saddest part of being alive is that there's just all sorts of shit that everyone just wants. And there are these like weird rules that makes it so you can't do them. Like, right. Like polyamory. When people make fun of polyamory, which I'm not polyamorous. I, I, I think that, uh, I think, uh, that I just don't have the capacity, (laughs) but like, there's no way, yeah. But you know, monoamory, monoamory is hard. Yeah, totally. You know, me. There are not enough hours in the day for monoamory. Zero amory is what I want. I don't even love myself. Right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> zero. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, like, but there are the fact that there are people that are uh, connected to themselves enough to be like. I am in love with two people and I'm going to tell them that it's like an interesting yeah. or all these people that are like, oh, what do I do? I'm in love with two people. What do I do? <laughs> it like doesn't even occur to us right. uh, growing up in America that maybe you could do something else. I don't know. Well, the worst kind is the, uh, you know, I guess big polyamorous that probably has its own set of challenges. I am oh, sure. Yeah. For sure, uh, because it's hard to date one per one one person. Making one person happy is hard. totally, but uh, at least if everybody knows. But then the worst, uh, if we're ranking them, polyamory where everybody knows and is cool with it or whatever, that's probably the best version. I'm guessing. Yeah. But the worst version is where only the side piece <laughs> knows and is just furious, totally, and uh, just trying to get upgraded. Uh, and then it's like, and then I'm like. Well, what's your fate? Let's say he does. Are you ever going to trust this piece of shit? He's still going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now you upgraded. Now well, you're so like, that's hey, the thing. After- I've always thought that when I saw because the way that it's portrayed to have like a someone like a ongoing affair in movies and TV is, yeah, that it's generally um, a man is married and the woman is who he's cheating on his wife with, like a younger woman. And she's always like. When are you going to leave your wife? Right, yeah. And I think that's really interesting. Like, I feel like that you do know that you're going to be the wife next, if that's the case. Right. And you're going to hate yeah. it. <laughs> and because you know what he does to wives. <laughs> this guy, man, this guy hates wives. He doesn't respect them at all. <laughs> He's so much more honest with the person with whom <laughs> he's cheating on his right. wife. And uh, he can't say that. He can't go, look, babe, I don't know how to tell you this, but all wives are sad. <laughs> Remember how your mom was sad all the time? And you know how my wife is sad all the time. This is a guy. You know how your friends that are married, you know how they're sad all the time? You don't want This it. is an adult man I'm who like basically you. doesn't have object permanence. He's like, every wife on earth is sad. <laughs> Here's my evidence. My wife and your dad's wife. And my dad's wife are sad. <laughs> Though, and s- That's the funniest thing to call someone's mom. You know your dad's <laughs> wife? <laughs> yeah, your dad's, your dad's front bitch. <laughs> front piece. Your dad's front piece. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded front piece? <laughs> I, I wonder if... <laughs> Uh, boy. Yeah, that's. I'll funny. tell you what would be that's hard funny. for me about being in a polyamorous relationship. Probably the hardest part would be remembering who I watched which shows with. Because <laughs> if you're like me, you like to binge watch television on streaming services on your smart TV. You know? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, side piece. We still got 45 minutes on this hourly CD motel. <laughs> How about we squeeze it a? <laughs> you want to squeeze it a quick, Miss Maisel, before uh, we check out? You don't watch Maisel with me. You watch it with your wife. I know you've oh. been watching it with your wife. Yeah. Have you ever? 
Totally. <laughs> if you can't remember which side piece you watched Miss Maisel with. I'm sure that someone has gotten caught cheating literally because of this. Literally because they're like, oh, that's so you say funny. you've seen all of Game of Thrones, but there's no evidence of that in our HBO app. So, which HBO app? Like, literally, I'll bet you. Have you been watching Game of Thrones? <laughs> no, I've seen, I don't know. I just saw it. I don't know. I bet you. You don't. You didn't just see. You it. didn't see. <laughs> you got another app <laughs> with your other family. <laughs> that is a level of uh, of I don't even know what to call that. But like when people, because people really do get mad about yeah. that. If you watch a show without your show, you're supposed to watch with your ma- with your front piece. You watch the show, and even if you go ahead, that's a crazy level. But I would I I have jealousy issues with. You want if we're what this is our show. Yes, we're watching Succession. Yes, all right. You can watch your other shows with it, whoever. Yeah, but we but this watch is our this show, one. man. You know, Nikki just recently watched the yeah. entire new season of Sesame Street without me. <laughs> the whole thing, <laughs> ninety episodes. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. She went to Mexico with her family, and they just watched all of it. And now I'll never know. What letter <laughs> each episode is sponsored by? I wonder if anyone <laughs> does that with the news, where they're like, "Ah, my wife has uh, on a been on a long trip. I, I what happened to the Ukraine?" And you're like, "Oh, you don't want to know." We all watch That's the so news funny. every night together. Oh wow! I can't go ahead. You watch Nightline <laughs> without me? You know I love Nightline. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how are you, bud? I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I stopped drinking caffeine. Oh, good. uh, Just to see what happened. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I can't really tell how I feel about it. I've been sleeping like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, Uh, I'll bet. And I don't fear death anymore. Oh, You know? (laughs) (laughs) That's good. I was so afraid of death my whole life, and I think it was just that I've been drinking caffeine uh, eight cups of coffee every day since seventh grade and uh it makes your heart beat fast it makes me sweat you know how i'm a sweaty son of yeah. a bitch and the caffeine makes it worse and it makes your heart beat and it makes you anxious and i'm like boy i'm going through these emails but you know you, you just have this sense of doom uh so i i just tried it out and i tried it out because i had an early flight i was like i gotta wake up three minutes, so i'm gonna skip caffeine this day so i can go right to sleep for this early flight and then I was like, man, that was great. I went to sleep at 8 o'clock. I didn't even know I could wow. do that. But if you don't have caffeine, you can go to sleep at 8 o'clock. Um, and now it's been almost two weeks. And uh, I think I'm, I'm going to keep doing it as long as I get a full night's sleep. Like, you know, if I get two hours of sleep, I'm going to need coffee. But, like, if I get a good enough sleep, I'm just going to not do it. Because it's pretty dope. And I've been having crazy – I had a dream last night that – Joe Biden was flying me around in a helicopter, and I think it was from our text. <laughs> we had a group text, uh, and and th- the whole time I was like, oh, I voted for this guy, but he is flying this helicopter really badly. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and uh, he was like herky-jerky, and he's like, oh, it's all right. And I was like, it's not, I don't think this is the kind you le- you learned on a, like the first helicopter. <laughs> you learned, you learned on like the Tesla helicopter <laughs> that he made. Uh, and we're like running into a lot of stuff. And dude, this dream was t- lasted like the whole night. Caleb, I got, I got to tell you something, man. That wasn't a dream, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yesterday, you fe- it was all over the news. You fell asleep yeah. while Joe Biden was flying you around in a helicopter. He was flying me around in a helicopter. Here's the thing. <laughs> Obviously, that was a dream, but it's not like the kind of dream where it seems that fantastical. Like, mm-hmm. I think the craziest part about the dream, aside, the craziest part is you hanging out with Joe Biden. I don't think that would that's going to happen anytime soon. Sorry. Probably Other than not. that, they probably wouldn't let him fly a helicopter, but that's the thing. It's because I don't think he would be good at it. I don't think you would either. Um, and he was not. Yeah. And I, it was one of those dreams where, like, I'm hanging out the side. Like, I'm like, oh, take it easy, take it. He's, like, trying to take a turn. He's like, ha, ha. And uh, I'm, like, holding the thing. You know how helicopters all have those rails? Yeah. I'm, like, falling out like Mission Impossible. I'm hanging on to it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's like, ah, just pull your legs up. We're going to land. <laughs> 
And I was like, Please, no. Thanks. And I was like, I don't, I, I'm not strong enough. <laughs> and I scraped my knee really bad. Like I ripped all a ton of skin off my knee. And he was like, ah, oh, rub dirt in it. And I was like, Joe, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I don't think the dirt. I think that's a joke. I don't think you actually rub dirt. And uh, and then I woke up and I was like, it was one of those dreams where I wasn't all the way awake yet because without caffeine, their sleep is just this. It's all. It's like an acid trip. Wow. And I went and I was like, ah, oh, I really thought I had rubbed all. I was so worried about my knee. Um, and it, dude, I try no caffeine for a couple of weeks. It's it's this feeling I haven't felt since I was a kid, like an actual kid. And you always go, oh, I wonder how. And I think it's just the caffeine is this adult drug. And once you stop doing it, you're like, oh, I feel like a little kid. It's kind of nice. You are making an incredibly strong case for quitting coffee. Like yeah. you literally were just, just like, decaf, it changed my life. Uh, Love it. I'm finally happy. Uh, yeah. My side piece is happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so happy that now there is no happy. When I cheat piece. on my wife, we stay at a right Hampton now. Inn. Uh, <laughs> no more, uh, <laughs> no more city motels. Not for my second in command. That's what I would call. That would be great <laughs> for like the the liar liar world, uh-huh. or uh, where, uh, <laughs> where like you can't lie, no one can lie, and the commercials are like. Hampton Inn, the number one <laughs> hotel for cheating on your wife. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, maybe don't put that yeah, in there. Right. Like, nope, it's true. We have to. Anything that's true goes in the air. Not end. only can we not lie, we have to say everything. That's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a, we should make that sequel to Liar Liar, where you're now like forced yeah. to constantly be talking. Yeah. Can I also well, s- that's the say world real now. quick, um, even saying the phrase side piece makes me want to throw up. Right. There's some about yes. it, and you should not cheat on your wife. Yeah, and if you're a man, if you're if there's if you're a woman and you want to cheat on your husband, and you have a side piece, and that that guy, you, look, I want to know about that guy. Does he think he's gonna become a husband, or does he even want to? When it, what does he? Want? <laughs> yeah, you never see that perspective. When are you gonna leave your never husband? Never see that in huh? a movie. When are you gonna leave your husband? When mm-hmm. am I gonna be your husband? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be your husband. <laughs> I want. <laughs> There's something about that phrase. I want to be your husband. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's never gonna be the name of a movie. I also gotta say, if you're name. gay, then you right. then then you should then you should cheat. <laughs> I I don't know why I said that. That felt funny. I but, I mean, hey, you should you do whatever do you that. want to. Don't ever yeah. I just feel like it adds a lot of stress to your life. The inner peace is going to be difficult. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh it's a tough road out there for the cheaters. You got to life's crazy, you know? You got to have eight phones. How are you going to do that? Not good. Yeah, man. Seven phones for your wife. (laughs) 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 I don't know why I said that thing about a gay couple. I was trying to make a joke because you were like, the man wants to be the husband of the woman. And I was like, well, what if the woman has a wife? And I couldn't come up with anything. So here we are. Right. Hey, here we are. are. Dude, how are you doing? What, how 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 is it a new Jer- a big New Jersey? Honestly, thing? it's good. I mean, you know, I I really like it out here. I've said that, but uh, I've had Hell fucking yeah. COVID for over a week, and so I've just been trapped uh, inside. And uh, COVID sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It's I was sick for like two days, and then I just had to sit inside and stare at the wall. And I don't know why I stared at the wall for seven days straight. That's it just seemed like <laughs> what I had to do. But I did that's that. That's what the CDC, they said, look at, look the, at wall. the wall. Yeah, Fauci. Fauci's a piece of shit, man. Uh, <laughs> did you watch anything cool? No, I played a lot of video games. I play this game Slay the Spire for Nintendo Switch, which is like, uh, it's not like a Whoa. made, it's not like a big uh, studio game. It's an indie game. It's it's really great. Um, I played a lot of that. Oh, you know, dude, you know what I did watch? I watched... Mayor of Kingstown. Are you aware of this show? No, what's that? No one knows it because it's on Paramount Plus, and Paramount Plus has yet to find a way to matter to people. 
But um, what is on that, dude? Thing? So that? much stuff. So Paramount owns like MTV and it's Viacom, and so it's like all the Viacom oh. shows. So like all of our friends' failed Comedy Central shows are on there, <laughs> uh, <laughs> except the ones that HBO bought. Um, and uh, I mean, not even I guess the failed ones, ones that got multiple seasons that are just gone, like corporates on there. Um, oh, dope. But um, so their big show is Halo. They have the Halo show. I watched all of that. It's great. It's like I thought it was going to be lame, just like a video game simulator. Video game show. But uh, it's like a good story. It's good. I don't know. It's good. And then I finished that. So I was like, what am I going to watch next? And I watched Mayor of Kingstown. I looked it up later. Mayor of Kingstown is made by the guy who made Yellowstone. And Oh, I like Yellowstone. Yeah, me too. The guy, Listen to this guy's... Uh, credits. Uh, hold on. Mayor of Kingstown. I thought the mayor. I thought that it was that. Uh, Kate Winslet is the mayor of something. That's mayor oh, of Easttown. <clears throat> oh, I bet they were pissed when that show came. M A. Well, it's M A R E. We got a mayor show. <laughs> mayor. This is the sh- the mayor of Kingstown, and that one is. Wait, what do you mean mayor? What mayor? Who runs a city? A mayor. They're not both mayors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're two different words. Kate they're two mayor? different words. Mayor, the may. What's a mayor? What are you talking about? What's a mayor that's not a mayor? Like a- mayor, <laughs> dude. A mayor. M- a mayor. That's the city. M a y o r. Yes. Mayor. Yes. Mayor. Mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's another one. There's another mayor. M a r e. Mayor. It's her name. Oh. And uh, her name's Mayor. It's funny, your accent makes you say the words the same, which is <laughs> what the problem was. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and that's why we had that was, fun little oh moment God. there. I was so confused. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so her name is Mayor. Mayor. Yeah. Is her name. Yeah, yeah. People are naming ladies Mayor? Yeah, she's from Boston or some shit, and it's like Mary, oh, wow. but Mayor... Get in here, oh, mayor. mayor. Okay, mayor. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Sounds like a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a really good show. Uh, <laughs> uh, mayor of Easttown is a really good show, actually. Okay. I um. Cool. What, what's this guy's name? Uh, the guy who. Oh yeah. Okay. So the guy's name who created it is Taylor Sheridan. He made cool. he made the movie Sicario. He made the movie Wind River, and he made Yellowstone, and then the new Yellowstone Damn. show, eighteen eighty three, which is also on Paramount Plus. Um, anyway, uh, it has a terrible Rotten Tomatoes rating. Mayor of Kingstown. Um, yeah, but here's the concept of the show. I'm just gonna spoil the show. If, if you're listening and you want to watch the show. I don't know. Fast forward five minutes because I'm going to spoil the entire show. I don't think Caleb's going to see it. It's on an app you don't have. Right. So, yeah, I will not watch this show. So it stars Jeremy Renner. Kyle Chandler is in the first episode. Right. (laughs) Kyle Chandler, the guy from Bloodline and Friday Night Lights. That guy. Okay, I like him. Yeah. It's uh, the cast of the show is great. It's it's a. It's exciting. I don't know. When I saw the 32% of Rotten Tomatoes, I'm like, that sort of makes sense because it's a little much. But here's the concept of the show. In Kingstown, Michigan, there are 10 prisons just by nature of whatever. There, there's a lot of prisons okay. around. Women's prisons, federal, state prisons, you know. And so they call Jeremy Renner the mayor of Kingstown because he's... The guy, his job is he, like, keeps the peace in the prison town. So, like, he's friends with all the cops and all the prison guards and all the gangs that have people in prison. And he's always talking to everybody, trying to figure out what everybody needs uh, to make sure that, like, everything doesn't go to shit. So, like, 
You know, if if the people in prison want to kill somebody, he like makes sure that the cops are like cool with it and stuff. <laughs> or like, so he's not actually the mayor. But he's not actually the mayor. He's just like called right, that. The mayor would get in trouble for, for sure. That. They even make a joke at some point that the mayor, even the mayor, calls him the mayor or some shit like that. What? Yeah. So by the end of the season, it is the most violent show I've ever seen, including Game of Thrones. It is Whoa, okay. so fucking crazy because the Jeremy Renner's like constantly killing and beating the shit out of people, <laughs> and he's supposedly friends with everybody. And then by the end, all of the prison, the prisoners revolt, take over the prison, and uh, and uh, take as like hostages all of the prison guards and just kill them uh, on video. So as the cops what? are watching, the National Guard gets called in and they open fire on the prison and kill almost every prisoner in the prison. That's the end of the show. <laughs> and you're like, what, what the fuck am I, <laughs> am I watching right now? And the reason Jeremy Renner doesn't die is he hides underneath a Bowflex. Uh, <laughs> hey, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, it's not a Bowflex, but it's like a workout machine. And uh, oh he gets, my god, that's like a Mad Libs. Exactly, a show it's the most that. ridiculous. Hides under <laughs> the <bow flex. laughs> Yeah, get under the Bowflex. They're shooting. Um, it's like the opposite of Sex in the City, where it's like Pelotons kill you, but you uh, Bowflex is like a bulletproof. Vest it's literally, dude. Body. It's like they let a fourteen-year-old write a TV show. It's just like Sometimes they do. There's a there's one episode where there's a prison guard <laughs> who's like grumpy. And then they show his home life, and his home life literally <laughs> is that his son is, like, almost paralyzed. He's, like, near catatonic. He has, like, such – what he has some disorder that makes him, like, barely move. And he is sitting at the kitchen table and just, like, throws up all over himself. And and then the, the mom starts cleaning it up and just starts screaming at the father. So it's, like – you see, he's like, why is this guy grumpy? And then it cuts to <laughs> him at home. His son throws up on himself, and then his wife is like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Clean up your son's <laughs> face, you stupid loser piece of garbage. And you're like, wow. I couldn't wow. recommend more watching it because it's just like, it's it's just like a, if children were, a, like small boys were allowed to write TV. Uh, the mayor of Kingstown. Yeah, dude. So wow. watch see, it. That sounds good. I mean, <laughs> so COVID wasn't all bad. <laughs> yeah, I got to see a really good TV show that I really liked. <laughs> yeah, no, I liked it. Dude, hell yeah. Uh, I it's Isn't it weird that COVID... I mean, we've talked about this over text, but it's like, I cannot get over that COVID is what it is now. What do you mean? Like, that it was, it was for so long this, like, horrific... Uh, world shattering uh frightening polarizing terrible play yeah and now it's annoying it's an annoying <laughs> yeah like what else in our society went from that to that that fast you know yeah it's like if if after world war ii if hitler didn't die and then he just hosted wheel of fortune <laughs> and you're like what the fuck <laughs> You were so scary two <laughs> two years ago. You were so scary. Oh wow, dude! I can't handle it. I can't. Ha it's so bizarre. Everyone's. It's like this thing. Oh, I got. Co it's like your dog eating your homework now. You're just like ah shit. I just. Oh man. And now I want to see Hitler host Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay, Vanna. Do we have an S? Do we have an S? <laughs> Show us S, please. <laughs> Oh, uh, Vanna, you're 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 the best. Give a Vanna fight, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Vanna White still keeps the job. She's like, I know I'm not going to be very popular now, but a job is a job, and I can't. I didn't pick who's the host. <laughs> um. Okay. Yes, I'd like to solve. Um. Is it uh, manifest destiny? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Welcome to What's It Called, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to What's It Called. We're very happy it's, that uh, you're here. 
With us. We're the potato boys. We're the fucking potato boys, dude. Get ready to lay down. Get ready to lay down. Get ready to be a Richard Karn for at least a solid hour. Hell yeah. Uh, did I saw that, uh, speaking of you, Karns, uh, old Karn and Tim are back doing like a thing soon. I think it's like a limited series. It's a uh, sibling porn. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> I am not a fan, but I support him. Yeah. <laughs> I support <laughs> support what he does. One of the reasons I like Richard Karn so much is it seems like he doesn't and would never cheat on his wife. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas Tim Allen has got a side piece at least. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. 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 He's always ending up in the hospital. uh, You know. Yeah. Yeah, You know who uh, cheats a lot is Wilson. That's why you only ever see the top of it. Yeah, because he's getting a beach. <laughs> That's why, because he's always getting his dick sucked on the other side of the fence. Yeah, you know how they go. Uh, isn't that the thing where they're like, "Hey, there's, there's, uh, on average, there's uh, three thousand people having an orgasm every second or what wow. in, in the world or something like that." They've done some numbers, but I bet none of them are wearing a, a fishing hat. <laughs> I don't know the amount of Have people having an orgasm fishing? with a fishing hat. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing's pretty dope, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's why they call them anglers. <laughs> that's where it comes from, because their uh, dick is always at a right angle from their body. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, man. I- you know what I bet? Those guys who have a penis that's bent to the side. Yes. I bet they spent years going, oh, I got a penis bent to the side. I'll never be in porn. And then it's like, you're in luck. That's actually about half of it. That does not, that's not going to keep you from getting Wait, hold on. Is your dick not bent at all, Caleb? Mine, I would say, is at a 60 degree angle. (laughs) That would be so crazy. That would be... (laughs) Mine is like a perfect triangle. It's bent so much. It's pointing back at it. Oh, wow. Cool, dude. A yeah, triangle. I don't like it. Yeah, man. Mine I looks like, like a it. snowflake, personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks like, uh, yeah, it looks sort of like a hexagon, but weird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for that because you, then you got to find somebody with a bent to the side vagina, you know? How are you going to find oh, that? A yeah. vagina that goes sideways? It's yeah. Not, it's not going to be easy. It's true. You got to look on Craigslist. (laughs) (laughs) For sure, man. There's nowhere else you're going (laughs) to. Yeah, dude. Boy. Seeking. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Hey, we are sponsored, by the way, by (laughs) El Segundo Brewing. Yes, El Segundo Uh, Brewing. Take a look at this. El Segundo. Uh, I like the Citra Pale. As do I. And. and uh, the Montagundo, I'm a big fan of, and the Strata IPA. Yeah. yeah. The Broken Skull hits nice when you're ready to really throw down. Uh, they have uh, the Mayberries, really nice and light and fun. And, uh, boy, they put the right amount of alcohol in their beers. I've said it a million yeah, times. Yeah, totally. Sometimes I have a beer and I go, I might as well be drinking a kombucha. And then sometimes yep. I'm like, this is liquor. Not uh, with El Segundo El beers, Segundo. though. Every time I have an El Segundo yeah. beer, I'm like, I am the exact amount of drunk I want to be. And I feel that way yes. the entire time I'm drunk. And yes. if you've got a bent to the side penis, you have take a sip of Mayberry IPA and watch that thing straighten right out. I will say, and I guess this is maybe a little too descriptive, but I want to say, my I have there there is a slight bend that I've got. <laughs> And the only reason I think that's worth bringing up, Caleb, is that I think it's interesting to find out that your dick is completely straight. (laughs) It just goes forward, directly forward. (laughs) Is that what I'm finding out? There is. It would be crazy if there was any deviation from just <laughs> the pointing finger that is my penis. <laughs> my dick is straight because I'm an American and I voted for George W. Bush every year. Every, election, every single one. Every year. Yeah. Doesn't feel right. No one else. <laughs> no one else. Totally. I look. I haven't found a candidate that makes sense since. Isn't it funny that uh, I'm, this is coming out later? But uh, 
There's this Rick Caruso guy. I didn't know you could just pretend to be a Democrat. Isn't that an interesting? Insane. Uh, Insane. <laughs> interesting. Strategy. You know what else? It's it happened at That's some. Funny. It happened a while ago. It's not recent, but at some point in our lifetime, it became um, a a uh, valid credit toward being a politician if you own a business. Remember when Herman yeah, yeah. Cain was running and everyone was like, he runs a Godfather's Pizza. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he knows how to run pizza. That, uh, that doesn't, you didn't say anything to me just now. How different could uh, could the White House be than pizza? Yeah, how different? You're trying to tell me they both got doors? He tells people to make the to pizzas every day. <laughs> make the pizza. Inventory. Yeah. You got to... Everybody's got to wash their hands. It's very <laughs> yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, totally. What it, I will say, I'm not sure Joe Biden does much different than run a pizza joint. <laughs> it seems like he's running the pizza joint that is the United States of America. Uh, everybody gets what they want, you know, whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come, come on. on. You think Matthew McConaughey might come yeah. by? Well, you know, like uh, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey might come by every day. He's like, "Is Matthew McConaughey coming today?" No. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, I, you know, you said he would. I am the president. <laughs> I'm the president. Hey, what do you felt? He's like in a meeting with uh, <laughs> with the G8. He's like, "You guys want to do this on the train? I think that this would be fun on the train. We could look out the window. Window. I said window. That's how you pronounce window." window. Old um, people just start saying things wrong. Totally. You know how Norm Macdonald does that? All old people do Yeah, that. right. I'm going to start calling them pillars instead of pillows. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah, totally. I thought it would be fun to say it wrong. <laughs> I'll just say it wrong. Well, I turned 80 and uh, oil became a Earl. I don't know. <laughs> Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. It's like you're from Vermont. <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of like saying Monday. <laughs> Tuesday? Tuesday. Sounds good, doesn't it? It does sound good, though. It's like, what are you Maybe doing? Maybe I'll start saying Why Monday. <laughs> what if when people got older, they just had a Boston accent? Like, I don't know why people are <laughs> comfortable just getting Southern as they get older. That's so funny. It's a real place. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> That's so funny. Talk the way you do. My dad turned 80, and he just started asking where I packed the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, but Joe Biden, he's great, man. I think that he's really you know competent. What, you know what makes me mad is uh, I get that Joe Biden is, you know, he can't fly helicopters and he's not, you know, he's he's certainly not at his prime. <laughs> um, but when people go, oh, Kamala Harris, where is she? Where I never see her. She's never lighting a Christmas tree. Where is she? Where is she? And I'm like, she has to be the president all day. She has to do the stuff. <laughs> While he's out doing, like talking to you, she's got to go do the be the do the job. Yeah, or someone is. Right. I'm sure she's in the room where the real stuff is happening, and he's out there like, hey, I know. <laughs> and, and she's got to be. She's in a room somewhere <laughs> with the with just the like fuck. Football. That's the funny thing. I like you know how we know we you know we just know. I think about this sometimes. Like we know comedians that are famous that are annoying. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And oh, or yeah. like big in our our industry and that are just sort of like, I don't know. And I'm not now you're listening. You're like, name names, name names. And uh, n never will. But there are just <laughs> people that are like really popular in what we do that are just kind of a tough hang. <laughs> and then there are people who are really popular in what we do who we don't think are funny. Right. And uh, and that's like that's already pretty crazy. If you think about it, like. There's at least one famous person I can think of where I'm like, ugh, <laughs> I don't want to, <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, and that's like insane that fame doesn't require you to be like what, like you know, a dope hang, but right, people always think fame's gonna make you charming, right, and like really cool and smooth, and you know, you're gonna be like Frank Sinatra. It's like, no. Yeah. Right. Not at all. Right. Uh, right. It's just it, one doesn't go with the other. It's especially crazy, though, to think uh, that that happens in politics. That, like, we don't, and we yeah. don't know. So, like, people who aren't comedians don't know who that is. We'll never tell. It's not fair. It doesn't matter. 
I might, you know, I mean, we all have annoying characteristics, so you don't want to fucking talk shit. We're all, no one's perfect, right? But God, man, what if Joe Biden is like really annoying? <laughs> and like when he comes in the room, everyone's like, oh, God damn it. He's just, he's just going to always ask us what we were just talking about. And, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Biden comes in there, what do you what, what were you guys talking about? about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> were you talking about me? No? Okay. <laughs> like, oh, a really man. insecure president is really funny. Like uh I bet he also is like a little behind with like things that are things that are supposed to be you know, I bet he still says things like uh, uh I get all the endorsements. I had all the sleep last night. And he's like, huh? And we're like, ah, oh, man, that was like 10 years ago we were saying that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, I don't really. All... Oh, like you know sayings. Like, oh, I see. I people see. People used to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's probably doing uh, a lot of that's what she said. <laughs> like, oh, like, no, man. Uh, guys, we are in hella wars right now, huh? <laughs> right? Hella wars. <laughs> 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 oh god i hope he says hello oh, man yeah man uh, hello <laughs> i bet he found out about cat and he was like am i too old to start saying no cat? Like, yes <sighs> yeah man Shit. guys i gotta tell you sorry i'm late i got mad drunk <laughs> though that's also funny because the idea that the president <laughs> would use i got drunk as an excuse is really funny <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? Looking back on last night, we should not have sent those drones there. I was wasted. Oh, I was wasted. Sorry. We really I think Nixon's the only president that there's records of him being like, "Ah, I was really drunk when I did that." Yeah, well there or at least recently. Yeah, I mean there I don't think that there were records of um I think that everyone was drunk all the way up to FDR who was drunk all the time too, yeah. but maybe a little less. <laughs> Because I don't think Teddy Roosevelt was ever sober, and Grant had like <laughs> yeah, crazy yeah. problems. Dude, I've been reading his book. It's so funny. The first chapter, he's like, "I really need money, so I'm writing this book." <laughs> Ulysses Grant. Like, yeah, his autobiography is hilarious. Wow. He's just like, "Yeah, I really hurt my leg, and uh, I felt like I. I think he's like. This starts out where he's like, I got drunk, I like hurt my leg, and I need. I ran out of money, so I started writing this book." <laughs> Wow, what? Did he write it after he was president? Uh, Yeah, it's like his like memoir. And it, dude, it's so well done. He just writes in a very fun way. And uh, wow, it's it's fun to read. How? But yeah, he's a he's a real drunk. Fuck. Damn. Could you imagine being president and then later being broke? <laughs> yeah, I think it happens. That's got to be a huge bummer. They're playing that song when you walk in the room and you're just like, ah. <laughs> This interest on my credit card is. <laughs> you know that makes me think. I'll, uh, I'll bet you that when he's um, at home uh, with Jill, that Joe Biden is like, "Honey, would you mind if we listen to Hail to the Chief right now?" <laughs> I just want to hear it. I just like that song, you know. Da -na -da -na, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he also like so badly wants to be cool 40 years ago yeah. and you're just like oh, oh, man, you think the temptations would do a cover of hail to the chief <laughs> <laughs> what i really hope is i really hope he doesn't see the new top gun oh man because there's no way he's gonna be like oh tom cruise can still fly <laughs> I, bet I, can I bet i can fly oh, yeah totally can really fly Man. I bet he's like calling them up like, what country is that y'all flew over? And they're like, that was pretend. Hey, I'm a president. You think if I if they think if I ask, they'd let me be on the Knicks? The New York Knicks. In <laughs> I bet he does tell people that. Like I can do like, anything. Do, do, he's like he, he thinks it's the old days and it's humble, but he's like, hey, anyway, I'm the president right now. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, know. we know, man. No, I am. No, I am. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's like yeah. ordering a sandwich, totally, and he says shit like, "Tell him it's for the yeah." You, know, you think for the president, you get uh, free guac, but <laughs> not nowadays. We in a, live in a different world, boy. Different world. Man, when I was a kid, president got everything for free. 
<laughs> Joe Biden does seem like he's going to be one of the old guys working at Subway. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. when there's like a really there's old, always an old guy? guy? Yeah. And you're like, man. Because there's a, with guys like that, there's always like, you know, obviously like anyone could need money at any moment. Money sucks. But then sometimes you meet older people who have a job like that and they're like, I just like it. I just like occupying my day with right. things like this. It's fun. <laughs> He does seem like uh, there's always an old guy at Subway who, like, when you're like, they're like, you want it toasted? And I'm like, yeah. And they go, my man. I'm like, it's just, uh, now I don't want it toasted. <laughs> why is that? Why would you say that? What, is it, what does it mean if I get it toasted? Right. And why are, you, are you trying to get a tip? Yeah. Why, do why you get a raise? Me on? Do you get, do they toast your next sandwich? <laughs> 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 I'll also say, I'll bet you Joe Biden asks for things toasted a lot. By the chef, oh, yeah. can you toast it? I bet you he eats a lot of toast. <laughs> and you're like, ooh. I do, it just, I think one of my favorite <laughs> things about him is, and it's a short list, but one of my yeah. favorite things about him is that he does seem easily pleased. And that's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's just like, you know what I like? A nice truck. I just like to sit in a truck with my friends. <laughs> And I listen to uh, my favorite shows on my radio. That's what I like. Yeah, he's, <laughs> I bet he's still like YouTube. Best site. You dial anything up, it comes, comes up. right up. Go you, ever, oh. you ever heard this guy Bubba the Love Sponge? You heard this guy? <laughs> this guy is real funny, man. Give me some. <laughs> give me some. I'll type it in. Anything you want. To I'll type it in. <laughs> you know they got it. I bet he tells people to close their eyes a lot. <laughs> close, when the your show eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. No, close uh, your eyes. Oh, real. don't peek. No peeking. No, no, no peeking. Peek. <laughs> Joe Biden, the no peeking president. Absolutely. 100%. No peeking now. And then he just blows their whole country up. <laughs> <laughs> no peeking. Hey, we got to rename Levi's. We got to rename Levi's. Hell yeah. Um, oh, by the way, real quick, our website's what's it called? Rodeo. Links to all our social media and stuff there. Uh, if you want to jump in with us on Twitter. We're uh, at oh, yeah, What's It Pod, there. and we announce what we're renaming, and you can join in. Uh, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and Spotify and all that shit, please. And uh, I have a, a split EP out with Chris Cresswell, who made our theme song right now. It's called Almost Nothing. You can get it on my Spotify and in my web store, shop to, shop.davetotheross.com. Caleb, you got dates? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, come see me at The Riot in Houston on August 12th and 13th. Uh, those are going to be a lot of fun. And uh, if I sell them out, I can afford to buy my own toaster. <laughs> so, Do you not have a toaster? Me, come on out. Bring your friends. Uh, it'll be fun. I got all new stuff that I didn't do last time. So uh, come on out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love, I love Houston so much. Hell yeah, dude. I love Houston, too. Hell yeah. It's a great place. Hell yeah, it's great, good shit. And uh, do we have any new Patreoners? To oh, that's out? right. Yes, we're patreon.com slash what's it called. Uh, everyone who signs up gets a shout out. Shout out to Maria Armero. Shout oh, out to Owen Maria Gonzalez. Armero. Shout out to Hell Rando yeah. Dixon. Rando shout Dixon. out to Patrick McClellan, who is a comic in Houston, by the way. Whoa. Hell yeah, Patrick. Really funny guy. And here's our last page. Whoa. I uh, tried oh, to hold shit. in a burp, and it didn't work. Um, Never worked. Our last patron uh, for this week, Bill Maher. Thank you, Bill Maher, the edgiest man Thank alive. Thank you so much for signing up, Bill Maher. I'm assuming that is a pseudonym, but if Bill Maher truly did sign up, uh, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> but I think it's probably a fake name. Uh, maybe, but, but hey, God. if he listens, that's pretty funny. And he waited this long. Him signing up for our Patreon would be the funniest thing he'd it ever done. It would be so. That's yeah. really funny. Uh, new rule. Um, I support. New rule. <laughs> small businesses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you oh, want to yeah. rename So join Levi's? our Patreon. It's fun. Hell yeah, dude. Levi's. I got a good name for him. How about leg jacket? <laughs> wow, that's dope. That's yep, yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, here's my first one. That's a dad. <laughs> hey, we make shoes now. Isn't that crazy? Shoes. <laughs> oh, beautiful for spacious pants. 
<laughs> you do not need to wash these. Republican legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. My next one was Wrangler for Democrats. Oh, wow. Oh, funny. America's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got bell tops. Jeans in the morning. <laughs> You've heard of Elf on the Shelf? Get ready for pants on your ants. <laughs> Shut up, Deborah. <laughs> Oops, all ribbons. I eat a lot of corn. <laughs> <laughs> pants shaped like a shirt. Off-duty cop shit. <laughs> You'll like the way you look, or you'll be fine with it. I guarantee it. <laughs> All right, here's my last one. I'm not a farmer, but I truck a lot. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm Dude, clever. I know that's a joke, but that will be an ad. <laughs> that will be an ad. I'm not a farmer. That I is just the truck age a group lot. where it's like, yeah. we're going to get the farmers, the truckers, and the big pun fans. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> That's going to, I swear, that will be a commercial within a year. It is really weird who's collabing now. You know what I mean? And like yeah. Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart doing stuff together. It's like an unlikely animal friendship. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just Eminem like, and the Minions. Oh, that stork is sitting on that bear's head. That's like what it, <laughs> Eminem and the Minions is a, is a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's... Uh, Suge Knight and Jimmy Carter are building a house. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Wow. <laughs> Damn. That's really funny. Oh, I never thought Ted Cruz would make a TV show with Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, the age we live in. <laughs> All right, should That's we read? Uh... Oh, we got some good one here. Um, ooh, I like this from at uh, Seth Mills said, "Dad's cool trousers." <laughs> <laughs> Why is trousers? Trousers. Though? I was trying oh. to think of other synonyms for pants. Tra trousers. Britches. You got britches. Trousers. Oh, britches, dude. Um, britches. Is great. Britches have stitches. How about that? <laughs> um. Oh boy! Uh, at real Joe Rogan sixty nine says, <laughs> "Weenie smashing ham huggers," <laughs> and <laughs> I want to know more <laughs> about at real Joe Rogan sixty nine. <laughs> I want to know who this person is. Real Joe Rogan sixty nine. <laughs> uh, they have. Uh, I, there seems like a pretty new account. They have, I think, uh, yet yeah, one follower. They're following two. Oh yeah, is it us? God, I hope they're following us. Better be. Um, I don't know who that is, but you're funny. Oh, oh this yeah. is good. Ooh, I like this one from a Pock Pod. Uh, <laughs> NASCAR heart. I mean, that. Oh, yeah. NASCAR yeah. heart. Yeah. Holy that's shit. That's good. Good going. Wow. At Real Joe Rogan 69 follows us and Kenzie Reeves, <laughs> oh. who is a porn star. And their picture is The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Real Joe Rogan. I'll bet it's The Rock. Um, Ooh, I like this. At Bug Dude. Wax Slack. Yeah, nice. At Max J. Kerr says, Made Whelp. Made Whelp. That's pretty good. <laughs> At No Ear High says, My gun will look great on these. <laughs> Uh, at at Ghost Party said propaganda pants. Yeah. I like propaganda pants. Uh, <laughs> oh, go for it. Another Ghost Party, honey. I shrunk the ass. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, honey, I shrunk the ass. Um, uh, at the Brian Parker flat back Yankee slacks. There you go. Slacks <laughs> is that's my good friend Brian. Thanks, Brian. Slacks is great. Uh, uh, at Turducken MRE, classical composer Johann Strauss II's younger brother's pants company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh, this boy. is great. At Loki hates you. Leviticus 3432's. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, really, shit. really clever. Yeah, yeah. Very smart. <laughs> Dad's cool oh, trousers, man. though. I mean, it's hard to beat that. Dad's cool trousers is great. To call something cool... <laughs> <laughs> As an insult, is so funny to me still to this day. Hey, cool trousers, man. <laughs> cool trousers. 
at Deconsecrate uh, Destination Denim. Oh, hell, I'd watch that yeah. show. From at Jeremy from the pod, pants you can <laughs> shit into. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, like some things one. are so clever, but I'm never going to laugh harder than the dumbest thing ever. Oh, I know. Uh, At Ian uh, Ian Gecko said, Blue Pant Group. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Blue Pant Group. At Demurist, Jerry's Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got me so hard. I keep seeing it. There's another one from At Ghost Party, Pants for Fat Little Asses. Man. Uh, people, the ass really gets a lot of... Uh, a lot of yeah. attention. Yeah, in this people one. associate a bad ass with uh, with Levi's. Yeah, I mean, I do have a really bad ass. Yeah, do you it wear a lot of bad. Levi's? Um, yeah, I think these are Levi's. At Boogeyman, where says Oshkosh, but God damn it. <laughs> I like this one from uh, Sh- uh, Schmelden. Uh, Sh- Schmelden Ring said, "Pants USA." Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> At Kid Obsidian, beer denim. Beer denim. Ooh, At like Winslow Dumain, cowboy thrillers. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> cowboy yeah. thrillers. That's fun. <laughs> At Eric W. Barnes, dad's diapers. <laughs> Everyone's dad's diapers. just talking about shitting your pants. <laughs> yeah, people are shitting in them and they have bad asses. <laughs> uh, At Ned Schnabley said dress jeans. Oh, I like yeah, dress yeah. jeans. At Bog Dude, crap chaps. <laughs> Yeah. People are shitting in their <laughs> yeah. Levi's, dude. Yeah, what do I not know about Levi's? I, I I mean, this is new to me. You know what's funny is that I think I think I gotta go with um at Seth Mills, <laughs> dad's cool trousers. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. All right, you get the Ricky <laughs> shit this week. Good going, Seth Mills. Uh, thank you, everybody, for participating. We love it when you tweet with us. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you all uh, so much. We're at What's It Pod. It makes Twitter a little better, you know. Uh, and uh, give us a follow, you know. Follow us because uh, we got, we're got. we trying to, you know, we want everybody to know about our fun podcast. So, you know, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and follow me on Twitter and tweet at us, and it's fun. Yeah. And, well, yeah, I mean, me, pod, you could dude. tweet at me. I don't look at Twitter. I stopped completely. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Uh, you was looking at it a little bit. Uh, I'm done. Every now and then, I'll think of a tweet and I'll tweet at it from the What's It Pod account, and that's it. But I like to tweet. I tweet at least twice a week. Well, follow Caleb. I'll then. Think of something. I used to tweet every day, but then I was like, a lot of these suck. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah. Well, they also took your followers from you. How many followers did you have when they they killed your account? I was almost at ten thousand. Oh God. And. Uh, I, I impersonated Joe Biden, which is against the... Uh, looking back, I should have known. That's so uh, weird. What do they fucking Well, I changed care? my picture to his picture, and I changed my handle. I did all that shit, so it really looked like... It, it was fooling people, and it was... I thought it was it funny. It is funny. But uh, it, is, it, it is against the rules, so they got mad. Yeah, yeah. but... It is It was the funny, president. though. That's the most fun I've ever had on Twitter. It was worth yeah. it. Yeah. What were you fun. saying? Just insane shit. Like, it... <laughs> This Christmas, if you need a, a truck to do the job you got your car for, that's why we have America as the country we're in. Like, just shit that made no sense. <laughs> wow. I up in, If you hadn't said that last part, I would have thought that was a direct quote from Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> you remember? But I just wanted to tweet the way he, because he, he clearly does not tweet his own tweet. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, what if he did tweet the way he talks? Do you? Which I thought would just be fun. Do you remember he... Maybe you would remember because you see so much more of this shit than I do. But like he gave a speech once that. uh, Oh, damn it. I wish I remember what it was about. I think it might have been about. Like like during the election cycle leading up to 2020, he was like getting accused of not supporting civil rights in the 60s or something, the civil rights movement or something like that. And in order to debunk that, he told some story about, like, having to fight a guy with chains. Yeah, yeah, Corn Pop. Corn Pop, that's right. Yeah, his name was Corn Pop. (laughs) Corn Pop was a bad dude. (laughs) He ran around with some bad boy. And everybody's like, (laughs) And he's doing all that old guy shit where he's like, he used to work right over there. And it's like, right over there? Right. 
what are the odds? <laughs> totally. And it's just a yeah. forest. Uh, yeah. And none of it makes sense. He's like, he's using references from corn the 20s. Pop. And he's like, and then the corn pop goes, I'm going to take you outside. I, I got a chain. And then it, all none of the details make sense where he goes, and you know how they have those <laughs> rusty knives? They used to put them in a rain barrel all night, get them rusty. It's like, no! What was your life, No one knows dude. that. What are you talking about? What's a rain about? barrel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is a rain barrel? Keep the rain in. So someone would challenge you to a fight <laughs> and then go wait for it to rain, put their knife in Hold a barrel. Hold on, I gotta rust my knife up. <laughs> like, I gotta rust it up. I gotta rust my knife up. No, they did not, Joe. That's so crazy, too, to think like, yeah, and so you're just sort of casually telling us that you were like, uh, not only were you uh, like violent, you had like tricks. You were like right. the kind of guy, you fought people with chains? That never yeah. happened. I haven't got a chain. My buddy was a chain guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was his name? Oh, his name was Zippy. Zippy had a lot of chains. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. So civil rights, huh? I gotta, <laughs> it's yeah, like, what did what that are have you to talking do? About? I think that yeah. he was like, I think it was because they were saying Bernie Sanders got sprayed with hoses or something. Yeah. And I think he was trying to be like, well, I haven't been sprayed with a hose, but I had to fight corn pop. <laughs> corn pop. <laughs> he was a bad dude. He's a bad dude. Well, this was great. Hell we yeah. love y'all so oh, much. Oh, producer. Oh, yes. We have a lot Damn. of great producers. Thank you. So, I got uh, COVID brain. I'm forgetting stuff. Yeah, COVID brain. Uh, it, it's real. Check it out. Uh, but so Shout out to Dante you... Beckwith. What? Oh, sorry. Go. Oh, my no, no, God. no, no, no. Hold Dante. on. We'll back up. You you were going to describe it. I cut you off. Yeah, so if you join our Patreon at the $25 level, uh, you become a producer of the show. So uh, you're you're funding us, and you, that's why we have this great office, and uh, you're the best. So please, you know, join the Patreon. And if you can do the 25 that's awesome. You'll get a shout-out on every single episode, like the producers that you are. And one of them is Dante Beckwith. Damn right. Another one is Ordinary Andrew. Ordinary Andrew, just a regular. Shout Andrew. out to y'all. Shout out to Peter Cumistra. Shout out to Amanda Peter Richards, Cumistra. James Colton, what? Anna Snyder, Peter Dahlberg, Eric Williams, and Jane Palatini. And shout out to Kyle Neal, our in-studio producer who makes this all look and sound Hell good. Hell yeah. Shout out to Chris Cresswell who makes our theme song. And to you for listening and supporting us. It really means a lot. Y'all are the best. Hell yeah. And tell your friends and uh, spread the word. And next thing you know, we're going to be fucking the number one podcast that's not about murder yeah that's right we'll never surpass murder but no one can we're gonna be man speaking of which real quick have you actually ever listened to smartless no no it is the most annoying thing i've ever oh. listened to <laughs> and it sucks because i love those guys all three of them it's the podcast yeah. that's jason bateman um will arnett and the guy the the gay dude in will and grace um, okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're all great. They're all very talented. But their podcast is they just have famous guests and then they kiss their ass. Like literally. Oh, boy. Take a moment and listen to the Tom Hanks episode. It's so crazy. It's like, Tom, man, I got to tell you, man, in Saving Private Ryan, I mean, I just don't ever think I've seen a performance like that before. I mean, what was it like to be on that set? And it's like, oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, jeez. And you guys also do this. Totally. You know what Tom I mean? Hanks even says, he's like, I really like making things about World War II because it's one of the only times in history where there were bad guys and then the good guys had to go after him. And it's yeah. like, so you're like a simpleton? <laughs> like, <laughs> you like need, <laughs> you want stories to be about God versus the devil? Uh, yeah. That's fun. Um, so listen to us. Damn. Listen to us. We're better than Smartless. We're going to start beef. Yeah, fuck Smartless. I'm yeah. coming at you. You have 24 hours to respond. Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. <laughs> the one thing that's good about the show is that Will Arnett is like a jerk off. He'll like eat yeah. during the recordings. And then it's just Jason Bateman being like, are you eating? <laughs> I, uh. Damn, I'm going to start. Yeah. Eating. Yeah. So I can yell at you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. So unsubscribe from Smartless. Subscribe to us. Get on our Patreon. Tell a friend. Follow us. And uh, go fuck yourself. Yeah. We'll see you in hell. I love you. Good night. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called?